Also speaking exclusively to Times Now was PDP Chief Mehbooba Mufti soon after the governor's orders came and she said that uh, contrary to what the governor was saying, the charges that had been placed against Umar Abdullah are not baseless. Where is, where is the clean chit? The Home Minister said Umar Abdullah's name does not figure in the 17 people who have been charged. She Absolutely. Did. But they never said that it does not figure in the list of 192 which we produced in the, of the suspects. We, we said he is in the list of suspects and the CBI has shied away from investigating those 192 because once the Umar Abdullah and Farooq Abdullah's name figured in the list which the girls had pointed out. So the whole, uh, you know, uh, investigation stopped there and then. And now His Excellency the Governor has all the wherewithal that within 24 or 48 hours, he got everything checked and, you know, given a clean sheet. So it's not about Umar Abdullah. It's about the agencies. It's about the system. It's about the establishment. And we've also got a chance to speak to PDP senior leader Muzaffar Hussain Beg, the man who made the charges against Umar Abdullah on the floor of the house when he said that Umar Abdullah was among those involved in the infamous 2006 sex scandal. Umar's decision has come. He has rejected uh, the uh, resignation of uh, Umar Abdullah and has told him to really continue as the chief minister. So what's your first reaction on that, sir? What resignation? There was no resignation. He had, Umar had declared on the floor of the house that he is going to resign. Even if the Home Ministry clears him of the charges, that is not sufficient. Then he changed his mind and submits a letter to governor that if I am found guilty, I will resign. If he is found guilty, he will go to jail. The governor is there. CBI is there. High Court has directed that you hold further investigation against those people who have been named by certain women, but against whom CBI was trying to cover up. Unless there is full and impartial investigation, according to the orders of the High Court, in the list which the High Court calls the shame list, on which Umar Abdullah's name appears, nobody can clear him. Governor has no authority to clear him. I had produced that paper. Governor did not call upon me to explain. I would have shown him from the judgment that the High Court has said there is another list on which there are high politicians who have not been investigated. His name appears on that list. But this is unfortunate. The entire might of the Indian state is behind a politician. This is what they have always done. 